what I said. I said what I said. I said what I said. What's going on? What is going on? What is up today? You well, you know, I'm supposed to be on hiatus, right? I should yeah, be on yeah, hiatus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But your country, and I'm putting it on you, Rock, your country is showing its ass. Uh, you can't put this on me now. I don't know what the hell is happening. I'm from here. Africa. I'm from Africa. <laughs> I, yeah, I claim yeah. I claim Ghana, Nigeria, anything but America. But anyway, yeah. all jokes aside. Welcome to the show. My name is Lena J of, uh, well, this is Lena Unapologetic. And sitting in as a special to me is the president of Blast Media, Blast Music 247, um, Elliot, oh, oops, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> rock, this, rock. It's all good. It's all good. Sorry about that. Um, mm -hmm. Later on, we're going to have Corey McPherson joining us and Natara Reeves. And we're going to, this is a special edition, a special show where we're going to chop it up about all that's going on. This is all hot topics, not interviewing anyone. In fact, the guests that I'm bringing on today were nice enough to join us at the last minute because I just could not stay on vacation. We got to talk about this, Rockus. What, what is your country doing? It's doing the most. We have, we have seen it go down since uh, 43 was in office. And uh, with Obama. what's happening now, they are definitely doing the ultimate food and empowering people that are getting their asses whooped. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's all good though. It's it's just, it is all good. We're gonna show them. We're gonna show them. So we got a lot to talk about tonight. Oh, yeah. And again, um, this was kind of a last minute decision. Once again, I want to stress that I am on hiatus. The show will be back officially at the end of September. Brand new look, brand new intro, um, brand new style with the host that we're going to be working out. Shouts out to D-Ray for helping me hold it down um, in the past, but we're going in a different direction. So I'm excited about that. But tonight, tonight, um, we want to do hot topics. So you ready to oh, do yeah. this? You ready to hop into those? What you gonna call them? Yeah, come. It's time for hot topics. Every single time. Every single time. Every single time. <laughs> it does it for me. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That's calm down over there. Calm down over there. <laughs> anyway, so uh -huh. I want to talk about sports, which is an unusual topic for me to start off with because. That's not really my arena, but I've got some things I'm excited about. Um, I want to talk about my Carolina Panthers. I want to talk oh, about my, there they are. These, some of these right here? Yeah. Right, I work right. by myself, Lena J. So yeah. on the left, we have Coach Wright, Frank Wright. Um, in the middle, we have Bryce Young, our new quarterback. Um, he was a number one draft pick. And then a veteran to the game, we have Stephen Smith Sr., um, who um, also has a foundation for um, displaced um, young people and adults um, with um, mental challenges. Um, so shout outs to, to that, Stephen Smith, for that. But, um, oh, and yeah. just like that, Corey McPherson materializes. What's up, Corey Mack? It's like ninja dust. I just, <laughs> I mean, really, drop the you know, smoke, and then here I am. Hello, like hello, 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 hello. Welcome to on? the show. Oh, How you doing? I'm already excited. It's gonna be good. <laughs> so <laughs> right now we're talking about um, the Carolina Panthers, and mm -hmm. I just wanted to. What's up, Big Buddha? Bam, bam, in the house. Um, I'm excited, and this is my question to both of you. 
Mm-hmm. Starting off with Jake DeLone, the Carolina Panthers went to the Super Bowl, but we didn't win. Second time, it was Cam Newton. So mm-hmm. my query to you with this Bryce Young, um, number one draft pick, do you think this is going to be our season, the Carolina Panthers? I- I'm a day one fan, so I, I want to know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to let, uh, you know, Corey go ahead and, like, hop in on that because you know my team. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, what are you talking you know, about your I'm team right now, though? So, you know, I'm just yeah, I mean, you know, so I'm... <laughs> yeah, 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 I mean, you know, it's, it's like I'm, I'm – I'm a 49ers fan from Roger Craig, oh, so I ain't no like I ain't, listen, listen, listen. I mean, with with a grain of salt, now you know I'm always just for the home team. <laughs> I feel you. I was like, "Etu Brute, you from my state, Corey?" <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, listen. First of all, shout out to Big Buddha. What's up, rest WWE former superstar in the house. Um, I'm gonna have to give that a hard no, a hard no, like a, a definite no. I I just think it's. It's too soon. They're gonna throw Bryce Young in there, and they oh, he's fantastic against his teammates. You know, oh, he's doing good things. He shows maturity. But uh, ask that young ball up there in uh, in Arizona what happened. What's <laughs> oh, look at my Rams showing out. Queen Mother, you know who that is? That's Gina Bridges. Mwah. Oh my, what's going on, Dave? We in the house. Yeah, we the future guest, future guest. Gina will be joining us next season, I hope. But um, but go ahead, Corey, because I want to hear your breakdown. You're breaking my heart, but I'm listening. I know, and, and I don't mean to sweep up the pieces either. But look, uh, uh, Kyler Murray, yeah, did the same thing in Arizona. He came out hype. You know, he aired the ball out a little bit. You know, run around barely can see over center. And then once they figured, like I said, it don't take the NFL defensive coordinator with two or three games if that to figure you out and once they figured out that one trick pony that pony won't walk it much longer they eat wow it. true that. and look what happened you know what i'm saying and, and and then the the carolina panthers even in cam newton's day were not known to have a strong offensive line yeah can't argue with that so you know if, if you're gonna have the curtain out for the bull at least shake the curtain you know not just let them in and just go run rampant in the china shop you know what i mean it's crazy yeah, I don't I don't I respect that. Yeah. I don't see it happening just because, you know, primarily Ricky quarterbacks that are like thrown in nowadays, uh that just that just doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mm-hmm. they may be okay, but if you're really talking about a rookie quarterback taking a team to the to the Super Bowl, you're talking about something that has never happened in the history of of the NFL. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Okay. I'm learning. Okay. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want to get so hopeful. That I'm like, okay, third time's a charm because I've been hearing all this news about, you know, he's our golden boy, but realistically, I get that. I get that. Temper, temper that. Just, just, just get to 500. And, you know, when they start, like they start making this run in the middle of the season, you're like, oh, okay. They might have some, but, but yeah. temper your, temper your excitement to 500 first. You know, they've been cellar dwellers for a minute. For a minute. Wow. Okay. But y'all bring it down my high a little I'm, bit. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying no, to we want them to be good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you know, home state. Have, yeah. Yeah. I have always liked the Panthers from afar. Mm-hmm. You know, like, mm-hmm. like real far. But so, we know who your team team yeah, is. Yeah. So, so you know, I don't have like any animosity toward them because you know they they never really been a threat. You know what I'm saying? So. You know. I see what you did there, and you're not <laughs> sick. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like you're that. not I like, sick. Hey, well, well, hey, well, well said. Well said. Man, like see, it'd it be your own people. It'd be your own <laughs> people. Look, look, if you're going to walk on nails, figure out which ones are the softest. That's yeah. all you got to do. That's yeah. all you got to do. Just before we move on, what do you think our fellow Ram fam, Stephen A. Smith, would say? Shout out to Stephen A. Smith, WSSU. He's been in the news lately. I don't know if y'all been keeping listen. up with him. He's not in hot topics, but he's well, listen, been doing let's, some stuff. Let's let's pay attention now. Let's let's pay attention. Now I'm gonna set the record straight. <laughs> I want everybody to know that I'm first and foremost the New York Knicks fan. <laughs> That's oh, no, 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 no. And if any, <laughs> if anybody, <laughs> you got the wrong Stephen Smith, bro. That was a I good know. impression. <laughs> you got like Stephen A. Smith. 
He was talking about Steven Smith, the ex-Carolina football player. No, no, he, 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 he did that good. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> he, that's that, exactly bro. what I wanted. Did he not kill oh, that? Oh, you, you were on that, bro. Wanted, you wanted Stephen A. Okay, listen. <laughs> you were on that one. I want to let everybody know that for some reason, the Carolina Panthers think that this young man, all of 22 years old, is going to take them to the Super Bowl. Dang, and I need to tell you. Eyes. And I can hear to tell you. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. We don't care. Are you crazy? Oh, the Are you on drugs? <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. That was I, a great impression. Chef's kiss. So, okay. So, y'all beat up my Panthers. So and we're going to move on. But just know, if you're watching Bryce Young, I'm pulling for you. Okay. Now, we're going to take a sharp dive into a... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We, we got to discuss this. I don't even want to put up a picture for him because he doesn't uh-huh. deserve a picture. Can we discuss what um, our ex-president is, is is doing? Do y'all think he's, I mean, what, what's going on with these latest um, shenanigans with, with him? Because at one point I followed everything out of fear that he was going to sell our country to Russia. But once he got out of office, I got to be honest with you, I had to take a little break. I was worn out. But I'm curious, what do you all think? Um, is this really it? Because they keep teasing us with the indictments and the, the, all. The, huh. I would be shocked. And I'm talking about ex- a shock. I'm just, just shocked. Like I just stepped on, you know, like 5,000 <laughs> electric eels and my ass is on fire. I would be shocked if they do anything to this man um it's like they keep i feel like a little kid who's been waiting on like like i don't know what was it back in the day when i was a kid i always wanted my parents to get me a a a big wheel or something like that and um or some type of toy that i was like Mm -hmm. um crossing my fingers for and i never got it so i'm just kind of concerned like is this really going to happen what do you say Corey? i i i don't um you know what it makes me feel like it makes me feel like when the matrix started you know and then you couldn't get a ticket that's how it makes me feel because you have all this excitement building to and like there's like this quote-unquote damning evidence and you know and, and damning this evidence. person yeah and that person but it's i will say this yeah it might it might put me in a controversy loop but i'm only quoting a a, a very beloved friend of mine uh you know not personally but a very beloved comedian paul Mooney said it's the complexion mm. for the protection Oh yeah. So you, you repeat you know, that you again. The complexion for the protection. Oh, I like so, that. I mean, I don't know if it's, it's yeah, exactly. Because there's been so much and, and, and let me back, let me sidestep for a minute. Here's an interesting fact. There was a clip I saw the other day that a gentleman was talking to a, I don't know, maybe in a public forum somewhere, but he was running down, you know, how X amount of people can't get a credit card because of their bad credit. And, you know, some may have been indicted for this or charged with this. And he had up a stat where it said NFL or NBA. And he said, well, you know, how many of you think would be NFL? You know, and people showed their hands. How many of you think would be NBA? And he said, no, it's actually the 483 members of Congress. So mm-hmm. they outdone, I... they've outdone the NBA and the NFL. And, you know, people that have just done quarter. Wow. Quarter. Yeah. So it does I'm a little stunned. Me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I was like, this doesn't surprise me. But Trump has a way of masterminding some type of way to maneuver. I don't know if it's going to be a plus or a minus for indictments. I just think that it's going to be something that's going to stifle a lot of people. Good point, because the downside of um, him going and like, I mean, like them really because he's not going to prison. Right. But um, whatever form of punishment that they they bring to him beyond just news footage of of what's been going on, um, Mm -hmm. it's such an unusual topic to talk about because um, we've never seen this before with any Mm -hmm. other U.S. president, you know, including the ones we read about in history. But my thing is, I think a lot of us are worried about. we don't want to see the big race for, and we're going to get to what happened in, down in Alabama later. You know, that's really, we're going to mm-hmm. kind of chop it up. But, you know, to me, that was a hint of what could happen, um, good or bad. It, it's still violence. And I don't want that. Even if mm-hmm. it's people that look like me coming out on top, right. you know, if you're for the human race, you don't want that shit, you know, plain right. and simple. So we mm-hmm. can move on because I don't want to bring on my vibe. Oh, no, um, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. We got, we got time, man. We got time. 
you know, so, you know, you know, yeah, you know what I think too. I think it's just the most that might happen to him is that they will do their best to prevent him from running for re-election. That might be the biggest punishment he might receive. That's all I want. That's, yeah. that's really all I want. Yeah. I just don't want him in office anymore. I want him to. I want him to go away. No, no relevance. Can't run anymore. Anyone who has publicly said what he wants to do with the Constitution wants to wants to give the like presidency more power so that you know the other branches of the government can't stop him from doing whatever he want to do. That is ultimately ridiculous. If someone is telling you and showing you what they are, my believe them. <laughs> I'm about right. Rest in peace, Dr. It. My Angelo. That's right. Yeah. And yeah. it's so many people that will vote for him against their self best interest just because they like one or two things that he's saying his usual not rhetoric. knowing that he's going to keep you exactly where you are ain't nothing going to happen ain't nothing different going to happen to you it's just your ideals about what he said in the beginning when he came out and he said i will run for a republican because republicans don't I remember care. that interview he did. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. He came out and he said that, and they still like, oh, okay, yeah, woo, whatever. Y'all bunch just of, think about bunch it. Of though. Yahoos, bunch of if Yahoos. Obama had done one tenth of the stuff that he would have done, come on now, yeah, a, smid now. a smidgen, a smidgen, a smidgen, tiny little it'd drop. Be, it'd be, it'd be absolutely ridiculous. Big Boone is saying back. that he's going to be back in office. You think so? That's what that's what, that's what Buddha's saying. Okay, I'll take that bet, Big Buddha, right now. I'm yeah, going I'll on the record. I don't um, think he, I don't think so. I don't think so don't either. Know. And if so, I mean, I wonder if he's gonna be in the in the house, it might be the big house, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and if so, this country deserved the same thing. Cause I said, I mean, I mean, they deserve what they get. I said it. This when, country deserves like, an enema if they let him if they let him back in office. And I Texas, really will be moving to another continent. Texas voted in Greg Abbott, knowing what Greg Abbott was and what he did, and they still voted him in. And I was saying, anyone that voted for Greg Abbott is getting exactly what the heck they deserve. I'm sorry. Ask, I mean, ask, he's, ask Houston ISD about it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They are, they, we are getting you. exactly what we deserve because we mm -hmm. let him back in office. That is a perfect segue to uh, Ooh, another goodness. politician that oh, we have to goodness. discuss. Um, what mm -hmm. the fuck, Florida? <laughs> this, mm -hmm. the Satan. <laughs> wow. One, one of my Facebook friends came up with wow. that term, the wow. Satan. Yeah. Right. And, and for those who are not aware, and I don't know where to start because he's been picking fights with everybody from the Mouse House. I'm talking about Disney to mm -hmm. Kamala Harris. So, yeah. um, oh, we, okay. So first part, because this is sections with DeSantis. Um, he's saying that slavery was actually oh. beneficial to African Americans that we benefited yeah. from slavery and then he decided to call on the veep and not our veep but Kamala Harris mm -hmm. um to um to have an old fashioned debate as if she has time for that bs but yeah. I, I mean I, just when you thought that Trump was doing the most and DeSantis is like hold my beer and it comes mm -hmm. in with like what what y'all got to say about it? I'm so sick of him. Man, man, just, one one upmanship. That's all this is about. One yeah. upmanship. Who can do the absolute as Yosemite Sam famously said, the doggone <laughs> worstiest. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, it's you know, because like, okay, you gonna change uh, policy about African American studies? Mm -hmm. Then it's not considered an AP course, and then it rivals an AP course, which is why I shouldn't be taught in law school. Yeah. And then you're going to tell Disney, all right, well, you can't do a whole lot of stuff down here. You can't do that. Okay, then it's all right, fine. We'll take that. We'll pack and take our ball and go home. You lost that deal. Then you come back with some foolishness and and, and a squeaky wheel gets the grease. Yeah. And I'm telling you, he's squeaking. I mean, he's squeaking as much as he can because he just hired a new campaign manager because he's losing. He just hired a new campaign manager. He does he's not humble. have the charm and I, I use that term loosely. He doesn't mm -hmm. have the charm of a Donald Trump, regardless of right. how you may feel about him. 
he has perfected the art of what make narcissists successful at being able to manipulate people. I'm talking about mm -hmm. Trump on this. Yes. DeSantis mm -hmm. does not have that. He is not likable. I don't believe he believes half of the, the bullshit, or we'll say rhetoric. I don't believe he believes half of the policies and all the other stuff that he's been saying. Because I was reading something the other day. I was like, oh, my God. It was just a long list of stuff that he's been putting out there to appeal to Trump's base. And, Corey, this one's for you. Mm -hmm. Did you hear about um, what happened with your fraternity in Florida? Oh, we pulled out. We was like, no, nothing. Whole yeah. complication. Bye. Corey is yeah. a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Incorporated. And I, I, I don't know why I'm saying it for you, but I just wanted to point I'm this fine. out real quick. Um, with all respect. Um, and when I read about that, I was like, wow, the, elf, the alphas are pulling out their money because of all mm -hmm. the stuff that's going on there so you know and, and, and rock you were saying like you wouldn't spend a dime in that now, i'm not spending i'm not spending nothing man i'm i mean I mean it, the the only way to hurt people like that is exactly. with green they don't care about black exactly. they don't care about white they don't care about mm -hmm. nothing but the green and if right. you and if we can't hurt them with the with the green then we can't hurt them at all but I'm not giving them nothing. I don't care if I never have to go back to Miami Beach. I would go to a dirty ass Galveston <laughs> Beach if, if I have to. Not <laughs> dirty, you know not dirty ass. Dirty yeah. ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I drive all the way to South Padre, you know, and and like literally bake while I'm down there. I hear that. Visit a, a beach, but no. I mean, because I was wanting to it go to nice. like at least one fam you game, you know. I mean, yeah. see the yeah. marching one hundred, but see them when they see them when they play somebody else away game. They, yeah, they, 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 come, they, come, they come to Hampton. I think they come to Hampton. I think they come to uh, Bethune. They've come to Charlotte for Battle of the Bands. That was my one and only time seeing them. And as much of I, as I love our own Red Sea of Sound, um, I have to admit, I, I was impressed. I was like, okay. I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, Corey being a former drum major for WSU, I'm not sure how you feel about that, but um, I don't know. You got love for FAMU? Just, I know we off topic, but I'm curious. I, I respect, I respect what they're doing, what they've done. I do. I respect what they've done. And a couple of years, they just lived off the name. Mm. You know, no shade, no shade, no shade. They, no, but it's I, true. They live off the name. And then they got a little bit before. of, you know, a little bit of that, you know, nonsense with the, the hazing you know so but yeah. i think now they've made a clean sweep and they've turned things around because hmm. they're versatile you know. you know they're versatile you know they can play classical fam style you they, the they throw it out with everybody big mm -hmm. buddha says fam you in the swag that's a whole nother conversation that i want to do oh. when we do next season because i love mm -hmm. that hbcu edition i had with you on here corey and and about mm -hmm. five or six other folks that was one of my favorite episodes and i definitely want to do Mark the marching band experience. So we're going to talk about CIAA yeah. and swag. But Lord, back to DeSantis and going on with Florida. I mean, um, you mean Archie I'm, Bunker? <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. Oh, I wouldn't man. give him that much credit. I oh, really oh, wouldn't. Man, so, so like on on another topic dealing with just how crazy our like country is. Tell me that you guys heard about the former NAACP. Um, uh, I guess he's the team chairman or whatever that is agreeing with everything that like DeSantos is saying now. Yeah. Um, talking about, oh, it's divisive and affirmative action with this and that. And I'm sitting here like, what the hell is going on with y'all? Because we have seen now that it's been a few, you know, black don't cracks that, that the slid on over there to that dark side. And I'm like, <laughs> what the heck? What the heck's going on? Irony intended. Yeah. Right, right. You know, I honestly didn't want to include it because it's embarrassing and we've got enough stuff that there are things that have that make me proud that's coming up later. You know, I definitely can't wait to get into those topics, but um Homer Simpson. <laughs> but um the NAACP uh, what what do you say on it, Corey? Because um I don't want to pontificate. Because yeah. once y'all get me started, I get in my pulpit and I start preaching. No, and and, black and that's folks fine. shouldn't be doing that, but it's it's embarrassing. Okay, from the beginning, let me quote, let me quote our boy Stephen again. First of all, it's your show. <laughs> you ain't having that. Okay. So, that was 
So, <laughs> but you know what? You know what? You know what makes me gonna be looking for you, Corey. <laughs> okay, I'm just come find me. I'm ready. Um, <laughs> you know what makes me mad about all this is that we even have to entertain this conversation. Like the fact that we have to even mention this is enough to bother me to where Thank I you. am frustrated with uh, the NAACP's walk backness on certain things. Now, they can't jump out front when other things was very, very prevalent that we needed that support. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. they, I didn't hear them. I didn't, you know, hide no hair. But now, you know, oh, we, you know, so what exactly is the the tenor of the conversation? Like, what should the instead of what we heard? That's my whole thing. Like, okay, now you could have said it a different way. You could have rephrased yourself. Or you could just recuse yourself and kept your mouth shut. Yeah. Right. That yeah. part. So, you know, it's um it's it's a whole nother and I and I know that we've got a bunch of other topics to 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 go in on, but whenever I see African Americans particularly in positions of power mm-hmm. um abuse that 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 um, what's what I'm looking for um, abuse that power. Right. Um that position, it yeah. is it's it's uh, it's um <laughs> Clarence uh, Thomas <laughs> right and 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 that's the thing that I'm trying to Appalling. find the right words because I don't want to be yeah it's a lot of things it's infuriating it's heartbreaking um it's confusing and I get that you know when you have power um and if you haven't had that position you know I can't speak on it because you know I don't have like hundreds of people you know, that are under my employ mm-hmm. or counting on me. So I can't speak with um, with confidence about what it's like to have that much power and, and, and to know that you have to kind of like toe the line. But, mm-hmm. you know, I, I'm actually kind of, um, I don't know, I'm at a loss of words right now because um, it- That's the appropriate response though. That's the appropriate yeah. response because- if you if you knew the direction of the conversation all the way from beginning to end, then you'd have a more definitive answer right now. But since you are like literally knocked across the head, which we can say for later, knocked yeah. across the head with this information, you're like, wait a minute. Yeah. You know, so it's like that that you know, dumbfoundedness, that that what in the world kind of <laughs> so it, yeah, respond. Yeah, like, hey, yo. I, I, really, I was like, yo. Well, hold on, here we go. Flabbergasted. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I really upset, don't have upset it. Upset even. <laughs> <laughs> Snagopus. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's, so it is crazy. It's I, I want to move on to something a little happier. Um, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're at oh, the bottom okay. of the hour. Bottom of the hour. So you know we're going to have to get in an, an artist. Oh, of course. Okay, let's and bring then, in the jams. And then we're going to come back with uh, with these two heavy hidden topics that I know you're ready to get into. Oh, you know, man. Um, Had but, me up in the middle of the night. <laughs> but yeah, so the blast, artist, the blast artist of the week for this week is the Michael Bachi Band. Oh. And, and like he has has a song that 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 uh you know we should be like putting out the floor even though I know he didn't probably mean it this this way the song is called leave this town okay so here we the go the name the title yeah. okay yeah. <laughs> so here's Mr. here's Mr. Michael Bachi fan <laughs> Go! 
leave this town oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna leave this town oh, oh, oh. Drive me down a country road Navigate the twisted bed Wonder how this trip will end I don't know all the reasons why But soon I'll have to say goodbye I'm gonna grab a beer And maybe sit right here for a moment Till the sun goes down I'm gonna grab a beer And maybe sit right here for a moment Till the sun goes down I'm gonna leave this town oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna leave this town oh, oh, For a moment till the sun goes down I'm gonna grab a beer And maybe sit right here For a moment till the sun goes down I'm gonna leave this town oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna leave this town Yeah, that leave this town. Tell you, man, that is Michael <laughs> Bocci Band. Uh, we had the pleasure of like interviewing him. I think it was two months ago on the On Blast podcast, and such a humble guy. And you would think there's like eight, nine people in in, in that band. Two people. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah. I'm picturing some Charlie Daniels, like like two right. people, and he Three is and it. some good. Okay, let me just say this. Um. There's, there's my girl. There's my girl. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Yeah. Okay, we got it. We got me, all our musicians are here. Yeah. Um, let me say this. I am a serious country western fan. I mean, Ooh. and so I was feeling the Michael Botti. Oh yeah, Michael Botti. Yeah. Michael Botti band. Yep. I mean, just listen. Blast does not miss the roster that we've got going on from Angie Monroe. Mm -hmm. To um to Lily um Lorraine um to um what's my girl Kelsey Montanez oh yeah um I could keep yeah. going like um the roster is is top notch y'all y'all bring it seriously yeah we bring it <laughs> so if if you or someone that you know is an independent unsigned artist comedian content creator uh, go to blastmusic247.com create your mm. free profile let's mm. put you on blast. Get you on the radio, do some <laughs> things, man. You know what I'm saying? That's blastmusic247.com, changing the industry one artist at a time. Oh, interesting. Without further ado, let's do yeah. our welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, um, I would like to um welcome our last guest who's gonna be joining us. Um, Natara Reeves, songstress extraordinaire, songwriter, um, hold up, um, Frank music Frank teacher. Um, what am I missing, Natara? <laughs> Welcome back to the show. She was also a guest um, previously on Lean Unapologetic. Mm -hmm. 
and was kind enough to join us tonight along with Corey McPherson. <laughs> These two talented people are going to be working with me on a, oh wow, a dream project. <laughs> we'll talk about that another time. So welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go. So are we right. ready to talk about these two topics du jour? Are let's go on to get, this? Let's go on to get these get these two biggins. We're gonna call them biggins. Biggins. I, like, oh, oh, okay. I, see, I know what you okay. <laughs> no, I didn't mean it that way, baby. <laughs> sure you didn't. Sure you did. I didn't even mean it that way. Biggins. Show, big show my girl. Show my I girl. Even, I did not I did not mean that. <laughs> Believe me, Ooh. I did not do that. I'm, I, I ain't, I'm not trying hey, to look at it. I ain't her, you know, I, I ain't being sued. Yeah. Come on, let's, let's, let's talk about I'll it. I'll be right I'm back after these messages. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was <laughs> two hurts. big stories, <laughs> two big stories. Okay. You just keep the jokes, keep on coming. Uh, and okay. I, I love her. I love her. Let's, so let's talk about her first. Let's do this. Okay. Do this. So, All right. If you hadn't figured out about the context clues. Yeah. Uh, Corey that, and Atari, y'all know where we're going. I'm yeah. sorry. Go how that shoot? Uh, boom. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I like how you did that too. With the fingers matched up with the words. Boom. <laughs> no, <I'm weak. laughs> ah! Woo! Woo, boy. Lord, Let's go. So, yeah. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, who want to start? Because um, uh, I just want to say oh. disclaimer. I am a mega fan. Um, yeah. I'm not a day one because she's kind of yeah. more my daughter's generation. That's how I felt. But I mm -hmm. became a fan. But I want to know y'all's thoughts. First, let me set it up. In case you've been under rock and not paying attention to the news, Lizzo is being sued by three of her former backup dancers. Um, two of them I recognized from her show, Here Come the Big Girls. And that's spelled like grrr, big girls. Mm -hmm. um, which is a Emmy award winning reality TV show that was on um, Prime, Prime Amazon. Mm -hmm. And so, um, whoo, um, yeah, they are suing her for sexual harassment or her team, not just her, but choreographer is, um, they're being sued, and that's her team, um, as well for fat shaming. And the irony that Lizzo, and she's not the first, but she is one of the um, the most current stars who's leading this whole like body positive movement, very anti fat shaming. Um, I got to be honest with you, as a full figure woman myself, whenever I've watched her series or um, anytime she's performed, I do have a swell of pride about her mm -hmm. representing for the tribe. That being said. As a, a seasoned woman, I'm from a school of thought where I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't have worn that outdoors, Lizzo. Um, too much of your ass hanging out. But, you know, hey, if you like it, I love it. But that's not what we're going to talk about. We, I want to know y'all's thoughts about these three women that are suing her. And more people have jumped in. So it's, it's just a, a bunch of stuff going on. And I'm getting to the point where I'm like, I want to pull for you, Lizzo. But... It's not looking good, y'all. Damn. Yeah. Um, I'm going to see. I know y'all all remember when, like, Cosby stuff first, like, came out. And everyone was like, oh, man. You know, they. they, they Trying to bring they, a black man down. Yeah, that didn't happen. Then another one came out. You're like, and another. okay. And another. Well, well, well damn, Bill. <laughs> and another one. The yeah. Peel Cosby joke started. Yeah. Peel Cosby, so, right? You know, you know, one or two of the things about Lizzo, but now, as you say, is more people coming out about it, and and I just wanted to really, really read about exactly what the hell was she doing? You know what I'm saying? I mean, how was you sexually harassing and fat shaming? And all that. I want to know exactly what the hell was going on. Okay, I have because some thoughts on it, but I want our two guests to well, oh, you know, I, I want more people to weigh in on this, but I have some thoughts. I'll, I'll, I'll wait on that. I want to hear from Natar and Corey, but I have a, a couple of theories about what was going on. What, what say y'all? <laughs> I was gonna say, Ooh, Corey, ladies no. first, ladies first. I <laughs> Oh, I Stay could go down the list. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> let her rip. Mm -hmm. Let her rip. This, this isn't her first lawsuit. 
Let's, right. let's start right there. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't her first lawsuit. And when it, wherever there's smoke, there's fire. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can be um, smoldering. Um, is one of those a bonfire. Forest fires in a little while. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she she had a lawsuit in 2017, also in 2019 for plagiarism. Damn. Okay. Okay. Uh, by a British singer, uh, Mina Lioness, and producer Justin Raisin Bugger. over uh, "Truth Hurts" the single. Okay. Okay. Um. I'm in shock. Can't believe it. <laughs> I know, crikey. <laughs> That's wow. so. It's not the. Yeah, but see, the, those those right receipts right there though happen happen a lot. You know what I'm saying? Because you know a melody or a tune, a verse, a note can sound like someone, and I've been saying it for years that a lot of that is going to be happening because there's only so many notes. You know, unless we are going to like, you know, create new notes and like <laughs> new ways to like, or we've been having music now for how many years? Someone is going to come up with something that's going to sound a little bit like like Lauren Hill went like, oh, through the same lies. thing. Lauren yeah. Hill went through the yeah. same thing. Her producers, I, I see your face because Corey's. For those who don't know, Corey McPherson yeah. is a producer extraordinaire, and Natara is also a producer as well, right? As well as singer. So I mean, this isn't my lane. I, but I'm biased. I'm biased. Yeah, I love listen, this though. Listen, yeah, listen. We music people here, so yeah. Listen, listen. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, no. If, if I may. Better listen. draw. <laughs> Go ahead, Corey. Number two pencil on deck. No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> <listen>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, when you when you have when you have somebody okay and this has happened so much but if you have somebody that goes to a certain level of of status then there's going to be the moments where they dig deep enough to find those things those character mm -hmm. flaws those traits those idiosyncrasies that make you not as perfect to everybody that you seem to be and then they'll inflate them now, has this been happening before? Absolutely. Probably from the beginning and even mm -hmm. before she was famous, it happened before. Mm -hmm. We yeah. all did it when we were kids, so let's just, you know, let's not throw stones at glass houses. So that's mm -hmm. already, that's, but in mm -hmm. her case, I really feel like this is something that is a direct result of her celebrity. Oh, yeah. It's a direct result. So <laughs> now that she has enough celebrity, people are going to say, you know, now, I don't know if it's true or not. I'm not saying they lying, but I know that if you have more than three people tell you the same corroborated story about anything, it's more likely going to be true. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I feel, I'm, I'm feeling money grab. I'm going to wait. I want y'all, because I'm going to say what I got to say, but I Look, feel money grab. I don't victim shame, but there's some oh, yeah. things I want to point out, y'all. Okay. But, well, okay. So I'm, here, okay. So here's, here's, I'm sorry. One last thing. Oh, I, go I, ahead. I, go I, ahead. I, go I, ahead. I'll step out. Here, here's, here's another thing, too. Remember, and I, I don't want to say anybody specifically because my brain is, you know, we, we getting up. I'm getting up there. So remember when dancers remember when dancers used to get fired from, from concert tours and stuff like that? And remember how they, after that, started bringing out the things that were happening on tour, you know, that were so disgraceful right. or hurtful. But, uh -huh. you know, you stayed yeah. through those things. Coming right. back to that. Oh, coming back to that. I'm coming back right. to that. Keep going. Now that you ain't getting paid. You know, yeah. now, oh, now everything's, you know, oh my that's God. Now. Key Dory, as we, you know, so I don't, you know, that's my take on it. I just don't think it's, I think they're trying to pull her to a position where, okay, listen, you big in in stature and status, but don't forget how big we are. Let me just yeah. put you in your. They're and, humbling her. And yeah. you, you already her. know we build up to tear down so easy. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Can we get an amen on that, y'all? I mean, that's true. That's Amen. church 101. Yeah. A flat for me. A flat. Let the doors open. Hello, Walt. A flat. I'm just, I'm a flat. That's some music shit. What, what, what does A flat mean? A flat. That's that money set. That's how they keep doing it. That's the shit. Listen, a she was talking that old flux capacitor yeah. talk all this week. Bad lines. Bad lines, Lena. How you going to do that in F minor?
minor. I'm like, what the? <laughs> Look, you, you sitting over there now to him who is able to keep us from <laughs> rocking back and forth, just like this, just rocking back and forth. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> okay, rubbing, well, your knee, you're rubbing your knees. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Speak on yeah, it, Tara. Speak my on. thing on the, but but my thing on Lizzo, where she made her mistake at was she went on a radio show talking about the banana bar, and oh, that I heard wanted, about that. Right? If she you had not that. mentioned it, <laughs> then Goofball. I could lean towards. Oh, right. it's a money grab, but because right. she mentioned it, that's damning, mm-hmm. damning evidence. Yep. Absolutely, yeah. I she can't argue mentioned it, said that she wanted to get some protein. Uh, well, one okay. of self fulfilling <laughs> prophecy, she right there. To to the- okay, I, 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 I understand. I understand. <laughs> Feel the dreams if you build it, they will eat or suck or. <laughs> Lit, so, I'm, tipping out, I'm tipping out the bag. <laughs> yeah, so he got his finger up already, y'all. She, <laughs> he got his finger up. not been out there. Right, right. Okay, she let me counter. Let me counter. Here's a couple of things I've, I've, I've been chomping at the bit to say. Okay, and again, I'm going to go ahead and admit I'm biased, but here's my thing. All the things aside about mm-hmm. um, the uh, the plaintiffs. Uh, hold on, they're the plaintiffs, right? They are. They are. Okay. Okay. Let me make sure. Right. Okay. Yeah. Law degree. I do not have. Um. Here's my thing, and this is kind of off topic, but it's related. For me, and y'all can come for me in the comments if you're watching. I don't care. There's something that's that stinks of ingratitude. She guilty. I don't see you, Buddha. Um. <laughs> it stinks of in- ingratitude. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna take y'all back. I'm gonna take y'all back. <laughs> <laughs> All love, grand fam. I don't see you, but- <laughs> <laughs> it's his comment. It's because it, it was so loud. It was like she guilty. <laughs> I, look, I know, but I've never heard. He gonna get me after the show. He gonna fuss at me I've in the comment section. I've never heard the host give a direct diss to a comment. <laughs> it wasn't a diss. It was just it, listen. It was just like, let me speak for my girl. Y'all oh. just don't, I'm a, <laughs> okay, it's oh, all. I thought you was talking about, about, about the Buddha behind me. I didn't it, know you it, so it, it, Everybody can get it. Leave Lizzo alone. <laughs> Leave Britney alone. Leave Lizzo alone. <laughs> it said that, that she's she bad, man. She girls can't have shit. I didn't, I didn't even see that until you said something. Yeah, I didn't even see it. <laughs> both. both both, both, both food is y'all, 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 y'all. Leave oh. me be. Let me, let me have my say. So here, here's my thing about Lizzo and the big girl dancers. Okay, oh. I remember a time when Janet Jackson Rhythm mm-hmm. Nation tour, mm-hmm. J Lo and whatever she was lip syncing to. Um, mm-hmm. who am I missing? Paula Abdul, um, mm-hmm. Michael Jackson, um, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Hammer. What do they all have in common? These were performers that, um, if you went to their shows, the dancers were going to bring it. Yes, yes. You, you have yeah. never seen yes. or heard of a performer whose dancers were their own celebrity. She right. took those ungrateful bitches <laughs> and gave them a whole TV show. We hadn't heard of any of them until this. And I'm look, I, I'm unapologetic, unapologetically oh, yeah. calling them out, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, gave them a chance to shine. You ain't never seen so much flesh and titties and ass jiggling. <laughs> and, like, you know, you gave them a platform. Gave them a platform. Mm-hmm. And here's my other thing, all jokes aside. I am not a dancer, but feel mm-hmm. me on this, Corey, because we march, so you know where mm-hmm. I'm going with this. Part of par for the course is mm-hmm. that you have to keep up. For yep. those who don't know, yep. 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 these yep. women, mm-hmm. one in particular, I won't say her name, gained a lot of weight. Mm-hmm. I am not fat shaming her, but when you are on stage performing for an hour or however long you're right. on stage, right. you have got to bring it. If you watch the reality TV show, Here Come the Big Girls, one thing that's consistent on the show, as well as I imagine on tour is that they did not sugarcoat. They were like, listen, if you mm-hmm. can't bring it, we're cutting you off the show. And every week, another dancer was cut off the show. Like every America's week, Next Top Model. Just, just like right. America's Next Top Model. Okay. And mm-hmm. so my thing is um, to um, 
oh god I'm, I'm missing the phrase um too much rooms given much is required yeah mm -hmm. um if you've got a talent if you've got a gift everybody mm -hmm. on this day is has a talent has a gift and we all know you know you try by the fire through the sweat through the tears so yep. i'm sorry it's a part of this just feels like bitching and whining you know what i mean i mean now i get that if someone's being disrespectful but if you listen to what they said in the press conference, it sounds like one, and we couldn't sit at the cool table. She took hey. the other. She took the other yeah. dancers to Puerto Rico and Jamaica, and we had to just settle for um, and, and, I don't know, Florida. Her, Florida, exactly. Oh, right, man. exactly. Not Thank Florida. you, Corey. <laughs> <Her dances. laughs> where, where, where? And I'm just like, bitch, shut up. You, you living the best life. I, I'm gonna mm -hmm. keep it real. If somebody, that's all fine and dandy, but if they have receipts, they have oh. rumors. And like Lizzo said, all rumors are true. Right. <laughs> Got to prove it. Back until they're well, hey, 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 you know, we could, we, could, we could probably talk about this one all night, but I know you got like nine minutes, and I know that this one right here. Oh, oh, we want to talk oh, about this one. Oh, oh, we got, okay, we all right, talk okay. About this one, oh, yes, okay, let's let's do it. Let's do so, it. So let's so bring it. We're going to talk about thank you, uh, thank you. Thank you. There we go. What happened here? The Alabama boat beat down. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Yeah, Alabama yeah, boat yeah. beat down. Can't say that three times. Alabama boat beat down. Alabama boat beat down. Oh man! Please man, look at Stone that. Cold Steve Austin's music, please. Oh, wow. <laughs> look, 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 please. look at the chair, y'all. Look at the chair. Oh, hey, there it is. Look at the chair. The, I, I did the chair. That's my that's my drawing. The we chair is. Oh my God. You already know now. Lena, Lena's crazy as hell, y'all. So uh, oh we go. God. Aquaman. 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 That's, that's the one that was swimming. The one that Aquaman. Was Aqua feel, boogie, baby. Like oh my God. Put me on that Aquaman. Like the that. one that was swimming. But he fine though. Yeah. Yeah. There. She just made a whole fine. Aquaman thing about the dude swimming. Look, oh, I was just, look, Lena, Lena, when you called me, when I called you back before this, I was just leaving Home Depot, right? I had to get some, some new door lock, door knock locks from my room, uh, my new classroom. And sure enough, I just posted, if you go back and look at after this, I posted, they had those chairs on sale, twenty four ninety nine. I've been seeing that. I said, I'm about to start a dojo. I'm about to start a dojo, <laughs> and we about to get chair food. I love it. I love it. Ooh, Creativity in the classroom. That's the way you do it, Corey Mack. Listen, listen. If anybody needs a hall pass, come see me first. <laughs> Don't come walking out of here like that. You're going to have to do your thing. Pull up a chair. Sure, Literally. Sure. Can I just say this really quick? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make this, so I'll make this concise because I want us all to get in on this conversation. The biggest thing for me is, for those who didn't know, um, 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 Black security guy didn't catch his name. Um, we're gonna call him Otis, but he was doing his job. He was doing his job, and these white guys, a white guy who was half Otis. his age, comes running down the ramp, won't move his boat, and it's like I don't know what kind of racist thing was going on. They were talking. All I know is that it went from zero to sixty like that. Next thing I know, he swings on Otis. And Otis is the like, Bob, right. hey, the Bobby Schmurder, the Bobby Schmurder signal went up. He Thank you. Up. When, when he threw that hat up in the air, Boy, black folks all around the country was like, oh, shit. Here go. signal. You hear me? That was the emergency bat signal. That man <laughs> threw that hat up. Hey, everybody knew what time it was then. Uh, oh, the, I read this comment. the only thing I didn't like is when the guy hit the defeated woman on the ground in the head. Those chairs really hurt. I felt enough of them. <laughs> oh, dang. I ain't hey, never been knows, hit by no look, chair. Buddha knows some stiff chairs. He's a wrestler. A pro, a, a, a oh, Buddha's a wrestler. Oh. Yeah, pro wrestler. Oh, yeah. Pro wrestler. Yeah. Um, I can't speak on the um, what it's like to be hit by chair, but what I can speak on is this. If I saw somebody of any race being jumped on by yeah. four, five, six, seven other people. I don't care what race you are. Yeah. Um, if I'm, I'm not calling the police um, or to trying to help, right, the last up, yep. thing I'm gonna do is try to 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 throw blows and because if 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 the cavalry hadn't come in, the black cavalry and right. black Aquaman, yeah. Michael B. Phelps, um Aquaman, <laughs> what else are we calling Shaquille, him? Shaquille O'Gills. That's what Shaquille o Shaquille O'Gills. <laughs> Because he was stroking. If he oh, hadn't yeah. come in and saved the day, and yeah, then don't forget yeah. the sisters, the one in the white jumpsuit, she was kicking and everything. If those folks hadn't come in, what would have happened to Otis, y'all? 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. That part. Be a Black Lives Matter t-shirt. Yeah. I was and, and I filmed. Was, oh, filmed. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was probably more scared because when the cops showed up, we all know what normally happens when the cops right. show up. Yep. And right. I'm thinking they about to you know think that the black people started all of this. Guns and, drawn kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, guns drawn. I'm saying that I was I mean, I was shocked that like none of that happened. I mean, I was really shocked that none of that happened. I was happy. Well, well, yeah. Mo, well Mo brother showed up. You know, Mo the brother, way they walked in Mo there, the police showed did up. You just see the way they walked down that ramp. That right I'm there. Sorry, y'all. I, I'm I sorry. agree, I, but I, I don't want to hit a woman. I don't condone any That's violence serious. at yeah. all. Yeah, I don't I condone violence at all. But, but I should say that what, disclaimer, right? Grandpa was not having it with that chair. That's all I'm telling you. He's gonna hit anything that was moving. Nah. He didn't care. He was coming. For big yep. flies, small flies, he didn't care. I was like, look here. This is, and you know what, though? People brought out one of the, it's not really odd, because you can feel it, kind of feel it in your chest if you think about it. Oh, yeah. The solidarity that showed up for black people. Yeah. That, that, the that whole part. Thing. That, that right there. That universal yeah. solidarity that they just all stood together. Okay, you going to attack a brother? We're going to take care of it. like Juneteenth. In Man, it, felt, yeah. it felt like it felt like when Wakanda said "Emo Bay" and everybody Emo stepped Bay. out of the circles. Right <laughs> when, every, when everybody stepped out of them circles, <laughs> from Doctor Strange to oh, Thor, yeah. when they all on the left. Like me, I was like, "Look here, I'm about to get, I'm psyched. I'm like, suit, yeah. up. suit up, I'm about to go, I'm about to go find a pool and jump in myself. I'm about to get. I started. wanted to come to the TV set for real, you know. Yeah. I mean, Natara, what's your words on it? Because I, man. I, we can I go, had, I can I, go another I'm, hour about it. <laughs> I'm just speechless uh, over the whole thing. <laughs> After seeing Listen. the video and and poor, yeah. well, you Otis. call him Otis. <laughs> right. Otis. Listen, uh, and we can I don't want to say his name because I don't want to endanger <laughs> him. But shout outs to the 16 year old um yeah, yeah, swimmer, swimmer because yeah. you have to have some serious like prowess as a swimmer to be able to like swim that fast then he pulled himself up up but to just, just your compassion for your fellow man to do that i had when a, most I, I people in this most day most of apathy the, the apathetic age who's it have been just watching <laughs> been just watching <laughs> Huh? I'm sorry, Corey. <laughs> what? Uh, B- B- Buddha is wilding. Can what somebody now? read this out loud? Because I, I, I hear albino kids go. Listen, what the hell? Ship. I know I'm going to get an albino kids. Don't bring him on the it's show. It's the chipmunks for me. Shut. He will get you shut down. It's the chipmunks. It's the chipmunks. We got a disclaimer now, but hell, I don't even know if it is. He will get you barred. He will get you barred from. He will get you barred from this. From we this get ding for real. I want to know why you had to focus on the fact they were albino kids, not just what kids. The... <laughs> albino. <laughs> albino. <laughs> What's okay. wrong with that? Let me, let me listen now. I love albino people. Now, I'm not yeah. even trying to get into all that. Me too. Me too. Yeah. I That's love Buddha. all races. Buddha said I that. I love everybody. That man Buddha that did. spoke did not speak for me. He didn't Buddha speak for did. me. That's not God's will for my life. Buddha need to be laying on someone's couch because he got some issues Buddha going on. He is not no, 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 no. Let me show some love to my Ram fam. I get where he's coming from about <laughs> not wanting to hit a woman. Um, I, I do. So I appreciate you bringing oh, yeah. that up, Buddha. Oh, yeah. However, um, you know, she was about that rah rah, so she can catch it, them you bones get too. Yep. Yeah, you get in there. And you start yes. swinging, don't expect to not get swung on. What that sounds say, like, punks jump up to get beat down. Don't, right. if you ain't a- about that thing, don't start. You ain't that about that life, stay out of there. That's I just want to ask yeah. this. Yeah. Is talking, everybody, loud, talking loud ain't saying nothing. Have we all been in a fight before? Because I've been in a fight, and I haven't been in a huge fight, and, and I'm undefeated. I've been jumped before. Okay. I've, I've been never. in fights I, now. I've, I've, never. Been, I've been jumped. I've been in fights, and what I know is that you blank. So when he hit that woman with the chair, I can only assume because I don't know. Mode. But I would right, you're in rage mm-hmm. mode, and it's like everybody can get yeah. it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Everybody, any matter who, if he saw somebody of fair skin, light melanated, he was going to swing. Albino that kids. Chair. <laughs> Didn't mean, oh my god! I'm not going. In, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm just repeating what I read I'm in not. the comments section. We love section. y'all albinos. We love everyone. I love Nicara, everybody please, here Nicara, on Lean Unapologetic. Please, please rub that rub that Buddha behind you for them people. <laughs> 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 
We're so tough about piano. Sorry. <laughs> you play to a lounge jack every night. I love this. Hold up. I forgot what I was, something you said, Corey. I wanted to piggyback on that. Um, a dang, I forgot. It's still a chair. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, we are, we, we are got, going to get off of this. One. <laughs> hold up. We got to say something. The uh, internet is undefeated. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The internet a billion is and oh. A billion oh, yeah. and oh. oh yeah. I got my second life with these memes. I know the black. Hey, go to go to Black Twitter. Black Twitter went in and black TikTok went in. Listen, yeah, I did on. one myself and I was like, I took about 10 minutes maybe to do that little Aquaman cartoon mm -hmm. on my TikTok. I got three times more views and yeah. hearts than any yeah. of my TikToks ever. I yeah. was like, so this is what semi-viral feels like. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, what I'm saying mm -hmm. is it's not that I think collectively African Americans right. want violence, but it's, I'll just speak in metaphors, to be the sleeping giant and to finally get that foot off your neck yeah. Sure, and yeah. to see us fight back. That was a mm -hmm. Wakanda forever moment for your ass, baby. That's what I'm saying. It was just that's that's that solidarity for me. Now, wait till, I put up this, yeah. wait till I put up this picture of these black chairs I found. In. Oh, <laughs> Oh, no. Did you see what now, Carlos Biglos Massey put now. out about the black black chairs matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Who it. did that? Do friend the right swing. Friends of the show, Carlos Massey put a black chairs matter video up, speaking from the chairs perspective. <laughs> Crazy, and he was uh, doing that Carlos voice too, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! You gotta see the you gotta see the one where the guy does. Uh, he made the chair uh, a fullback, a linebacker from Grambling State. <laughs> Oh no. Chair Chair Quavius. <laughs> that's some that's Chair some Quavius. Key and Peel yeah. shit right yeah. there. That's Key yeah. and Peel. Chair, Chair Quavius something. Go Tigers. Yeah, like, man. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. Bob did it. Bob Rubin. Jay, it is oh, that God. time, but I it know is... that that you wanted to do some do some shout outs. Oh yes. I yes. know we can we can we can go over this all day. All night. So, yeah, all night. <laughs> we can wear this, this rug out. We that. So, I'm here for all the shenanigans. Like, please keep oh bringing the memes. God. Black people love us. Mm -hmm. But let's do some shout outs. Okay. We're give your shout out to Krista Terrell. After 21 yeah. years serving um, with the Arts and Science Council, and she's also was president, she has stepped down. And Krista, you will be missed. Mm. Let me tell you something about Krista Terrell, if I can brag about her really quick. Um, I won't say his name, but I had a representative. Um, I recently got a Arts and Science Council fellowship. So thank you, Arts and Science Council, for the Creative Renewal Fellowship. And oh, Tara Reeves also got a grant, um, a seed grant. And what I loved about my fellowship is they empowered me to give through through their money, wasn't my money, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. through my fellowship, I could nominate any artist in the city. And I chose my girl, Natara, and I tell you, she is worth every single penny and 10, 50 times more. I can't wait to is. work with the two of y'all. We're going to talk in the green room afterwards. Trust me, this is going to be a good conversation. But just you know real quick about Miss Sister Krista Terrell, when I had questions about how to, um, to go about um, documenting my experience, Krista was, um, she had no problem calling me back. When I called a young buck who was my representative, um, of, of, of the lighter persuasion, all I'm going to say is he hit me with the, well, you can go through the portal and email me and then I'll check my calendar. And I was like, fuck all that. I need you to pick up the phone 20th century style and talk to me. I'm 51 years old. I ain't got time to be doing all that. I got stuff mm -hmm. to do. I just want to know a simple question. The president, Krista Terrell, had no problem calling me on mm -hmm. her off time. Lena, just tell me what, what you want. Let me help you. And she went and got the resources. I love her for that. I don't think these people are not going to get but gets back. Exactly. Yeah. But yes, yeah, shout out to Krista Terrell for that. Um, um, love her. Dentara, you want to speak on it? Because we're, we're going to miss her. I got a tribute coming up. Yes, mm. I just um, praying, you know, God to be with her as she traveled to her next uh, transformation Endeavor. and endeavors, Stand. you know, that... Um, mm. You Last know. thing I'll say really quick, for those mm -hmm. of us who were applying for grants back in the 90s and 80s, 
when um, brown people weren't getting opportunities, they kept giving the same grants to um, mm -hmm. people making, um, uh, I don't know, like, um, I'm not putting down the arts, but it was the same typical projects. You know, can you paint a mural? Can you um, uh, do a pot? And don't get me wrong, like, you know, I'm for those things as well. That's what I went to with some state for to study fine arts. But mm -hmm. Krista and others like her with diversity, they made a difference. So I just want to say Mwah, shout outs to you. And good stuff. Good stuff. Good yep. stuff. Yeah. And last <clears throat> but not least, this is your celebrity shout out of the night. Ah, okay. Stephanie Mills. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. For those who don't know, Stephanie Mills, um, put her name in the hat. Um, she offered to do a free concert for um the um I don't want to say victims, but the um the folks involved in the Alabama boat beatdown, Alabama boat beatdown, mm. Alabama boat beatdown. She's doing a free concert for them, and having mm. met and drawn her, she mm -hmm. is a class act. So I'm yes. not surprised. Yeah, shout out to Stephanie Mills. <clears throat> That's how you do it. All right, well, we got another. Well, look, Rock, we got another, Rock. We got another announcement. What, what, what you got? You know, we got we got to talk about blast. Um, oh, about okay. what happened this let weekend. See. Let me see. Let me see if I can find what Let's, we got here. Uh, there they are. Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. We were the finalists. Finalists for radio station of the year, engineer of the year, and some other things. Um, my man, Beep Troy, went down there, um, uh, you know, and, and he represented for us. Just shout like out, Troy. Shout yeah. out, Shout out, D-Ray. Shout, 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 shout out to and all out Ray, Danny. 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 Who's that in the middle? Who's that in the middle? <laughs> that would be yours, truly. Pretty, pretty, That's pretty, you? pretty, Rick, pretty, pretty Ricky looking truly. Negro. <laughs> pretty Ricky. That would be yours, truly, now. So, uh, That's so, you? Oh yeah. Oh, that was him in the middle. Oh, what, 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 what you trying to say there? Look at it. Yeah. Yeah, head, yeah. Her head almost hit the Buddha. Going all the way back there. <laughs> <you? laughs> Rock had put some extra just um fruits and berries like in the hair, Go made ahead, extra curly. Man. That's what that was. Mm. Kente, Kente oil. Kente oil. Kente oil. Oh no. It's all dark and lovely. Yeah, I'm, Co I'm coconut oil. oil. Coconut oil. I'm not to that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right, yeah. Juices and berries. Juices and berries. Juices. Just all. Just fruits and berries. Hello, yeah. Babar. Uh, listen. <laughs> congratulations to Blast. Congratulations to Blast. So once again, just want to shout out. Um, the yeah. three. The three. Yes. Yes. Shout outs yeah. to Rock. Shout outs to D Ray. Yeah. The producer. Shout outs to um to V, who actually literally went down there and got all dressed up and all sleeve in the boner. That. Didn't he look, yeah. Yeah. He look yeah. like he's ready to preach the word somewhere? Go ahead. <laughs> I'm now. saying, get, get, give him a damn award. Give, <laughs> look, next mm -hmm. year, Blast, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Just big, like the Panthers. Just like y'all uh, told me about my Panthers, and they, they uh, hurt my feelings, Natari. They said it no, was be only year. one year uh, for, the, for the radio station. A little bit longer for y'all now. A little bit longer for the, for the kitty. There you go. Thank uh, you, Buddha. Thank you, Buddha. So we reset time, right? Oh yeah! Thank you oh, both. Yeah. Thank we... you both, Buddhas. Thank you. <laughs> both Buddhas. Both of y'all. Both of them. <laughs> Listen, I enjoyed this. Um, I want to thank. Um, first of all, everyone that tuned in tonight. Thank you. Um, if you took the time to leave a comment. Anybody who watches our podcast knows that a lot of times the views come after. The live mm -hmm. show. I've watched that. I'm learning something. This is my 12th show. It was going to wait until September, but I just had to, you know, That's America was, was cutting up. So mm -hmm. I would like to thank Corey McPherson, <clears throat> the producer, music teacher, musician extraordinaire. I would like to thank Carl Reeves, musician, producer extraordinaire, and my, um, um, my future teammates on our upcoming project. And last but not least, for sure, president of Blast Rock. Thank you for um, for holding it down with me tonight. This was Bad awesome, y'all. It was worth yeah. it. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Thank Love you for it. tuning in. I'm gonna be all hyped. I ain't going to sleep now. I gotta go do something. Else. <laughs> okay, <laughs> stick around in the green room if y'all got I'm a few minutes. Wound up. Yeah, stick around in the green room and want to talk real quick. But um, to everyone else, thank you for tuning in. Um, expect the unexpected. Thank you and good night. Good night.
So that's it. Yo. Wow. Thanks, y'all. That was some. No problem. No problem. All I right. didn't mean to go in on Lizzo so long. Um, great show. Hold up. We still we still live, right? No. Nah. Oh, hold on. Oh, there we are. I'm in it now. Thank God. I was about to 